What's up, YouTube? It is Dreas, aka DJ Anti Zero, and I just wanted to tell you guys I had the most exciting matches in Tekken in a very long time. Uh, I mean, I haven't played Tekken in a, in a while, but nonetheless, I had a very exciting match. I actually have saved all the matches I've done, minus some of them being a little bit laggy because of situations with the internet whether it's my end or their and i'm still not sure it might be my end because every match was some point laggy and i don't see why every match would be that laggy unless it was my internet connection so that happened there's no commentary i probably should do some sort of commentary but there's no commentary on it but this is not what you guys came here for you guys came here for something else and if you're wondering what the hell that sound is Yes, that is my place to survive in the background with the TV in the background doing this thing. But that's not what I am here for. And no, I'm not talking to this thing for the 50th time in one of my videos. I've done said so many times in every video that I do not record on this. Everything strictly on the phone. What I want to tell you guys is internet is a very dangerous yet interesting place. Now, before y'all say anything, no. <laughs> the answer is just no. Whatever you're about to think from this video, the answer is no. Like, yeah, one case scenario, there's nothing wrong with what I did. On the other hand, there's many reasons that you could consider it to be wrong or scary for what I did. And what I did was nothing like bad, like I hacked a bank or something like that. No. What had happened was, and this is just a story, and I'm not going to tell you whom, I'm not going to tell you what, it's just my side of things. I'm at work. Apparently, there's this woman at my job that I've never seen before, that's been there for some months now. I happen to see half her face. This was three days ago, two, two days ago, this was on Thursday. So today's, today's Saturday. This is on a Thursday. And I'm like, oh, snap. She looks good. And <laughs> not to, like, say, like, my personal taste, but she's shorter than me. Like, short. Like, as in, like, probably yay high. And I'm six foot. I want to say six foot. I still haven't confirmed that yet. I know it's been some years, but the last time I've been to the doctor and they checked my height. I was like halfway 5'10", 5'11". I'm sure by now I'm six. If I'm not, the hair will make me six. <laughs> by like the next inch. Like I'm definitely 5'11". But if I'm not 5'11", I'm six inch. Six foot. What's it, six inch? Six foot. Anyway. <laughs> That's not what I want to get. So yeah. Seeing her first time, I said, like, oh, snap, she looks good. Now, problem is she has a mask on, so the only thing I can see is technically her eyes. But she looks good. She has makeup on and whatnot. And this is, like, the only black teacher-ish person there. I said teacher-ish. and teacher -ish. And not to be, like, I'm so racially profiled. I'm just telling you what's going on. Like, the school is a, you know, I don't want to go into too much detail. I don't want to say where and when, etc. But nonetheless, so I see her. I was like, oh, snap, I'm interested. So I go to one of, I guess I would say, the teacher I talked to the most at the school. We share the same birthday. So that's kind of the reason why I lean towards her. Plus, I've been noticing that she uh, has a lot more hold on the school, not hold, but high, a higher standard position or placement in the school. And most people, and I would even, I would even say even the principal, but I'm not 100% sure, but I'm just doing that based on speculation. So I go to her. I'm like, yo, so is she a teacher? Staff member? <laughs> and then she gives you the, I'm just like, wait a minute, relax, first of all. <laughs> She's like, I know who you're talking about. Hold up. I know who you're talking about. You even got to say her name. I'm just like, <laughs> first of all, how you know is even the first one? To, out of all the teachers in the school, and we're talking like 
30 plus staff members. And to say how many are are there uh, females, 80, 80 to 85% of the staff members there is females versus guys. So take it from that judge, um, that standpoint, let's just say. Take it from that standpoint. Like, how would you know? I'm like, you know what? And she's like, well, her last name is, and she goes there she's this she's that and i'm like first of all the, i didn't even ask for and all i asked was is she a teacher staff etc or whatever that's all i asked i didn't, I didn't even ask I didn't, I didn't go beyond any questioning after that point because i felt what i felt was if i like somebody to know that person i should go directly to that person to get said information instead of going to any other source to get said information because that's what that's the way that's how you engage in conversations if i already pre-know things about you then what's the point of me asking you conversations i might as well skip to x y z point but there's no point of that we know nothing about me and it's already a quote unquote turn off so might as well get to know you i gotta make this video short because my stomach is hurting right now uh what was i say so i asked the questions all right i asked that question Give me a few answers, and I told her, I was like, I'd rather, you know, get to know her. I'll talk to her the next day, because by the time I asked the teacher I was talking to, this was, like, later on in the day, and this person I said already left. So, she was like, okay. A few hours go by, and I'm just like, huh. I'm getting more curious. I'm getting the butterfly feelings. <laughs> I'm like, how am I getting butterfly feelings with somebody I, I haven't even said more than two words to? Or even know that person's actual, like, not actual name, but their first name rather than their last name. But I'm like, you know, I, I felt maybe she might be somebody attracted to me. Who knows? Just based on, I would say, high assumptions and very high assumptions. Because when I found out what I found out later, I was like, okay, well, unless she's trying to quote unquote cheat on her man, which I hopefully don't condone, or there's no other way she's gonna sit here and just do what she quote unquote did, which was mainly her just kind of more so pacing in my facility. When she just got to talk to a teacher, and I'm like, okay, this is the third time I've seen you from come from that other side of the wall as I'm trying to take out the garbage. So I guess I'll just say hi. And I have no idea what was that supposed to... I don't know. But anyway. So I got curious. So uh, my head and curiosity is getting to me, getting to me. I'm in the middle of working. So the point where I get to work, I'm like, you know, I didn't finish nearly half of my job in less time than I usually would. Like, usually. And I'm sitting there like, that's odd. So whatever. So I'm going to take the opportunity since I did that was the case. To go talk to the teacher again. So I was like, alright, so what's up with this person? Is this person on is this person does this person have an age? Not age, but this is this person like age bar because I can't go below twenty one. Me being twenty seven, I can't go low, be go below twenty one. When I hit twenty eight, it's gonna be a little bit questionable to, for me to even touch twenty one. I gotta go like twenty two. Like I could do twenty one but up and down, I have my preferences. That's why it's kind of gray when it comes to like age. I do like five below, five, five below, five above. I don't really go past that. From I don't try to go past that for me. Um, if it's five, if it's below twenty one, I don't, I don't even want to look. I don't want to say anything. I just don't. Like there may be like one or two cases where I may have fake try to entertain, but on that scale. It was somebody that was 20 on their way to 21. And was, that's the only time I ever, like, yo, maybe I can just wait. And I was like, yeah. But, yeah, nonetheless. So, I'm curious. So, she then tells me she, while well, she worked. Cause I was like, I, I think I've seen her for the last couple of months, but I've never seen her face. Like, every time I see her when I'm walking through the school. And, by the way, I'm, I'm crossed over. I, I cross over during the school, so I come in kind of a bit more during the day than I usually do, but usually 
I get there when everybody's leaving the building. Because I'm there from like midday to night. So when school's over is when I just got there. And usually when I usually just got there, already half the, the students and staff members already left. Like majority of them had done left. Uh, so I'm like, what's up? Like, I guess, what do you know? And she's like, yeah, she's been here. She's this and she's that. She got this and she got that. I don't know her age, though. I'm like, uh. Anyway, so, I don't know what I'm looking over there for. So, I then proceed to go back on to work for about like 10 more minutes. Then I'm like, you know what? Before I even execute my plan of action of getting to know her, asking her for a number, seeing her where her age is, all that, etc. I was like, I want to snoop. This part is where it gets scary. From the outside perspective, it gets scary. And I realize this kind of during, in the moment, but at the same time, I'm just like, I won't hit this person up. It's more so for me to see if I can, I, in the sense, because I don't, I don't want to be in a situation where this person, and I have and I have came across people lying to their age, uh, both male and fe female, so it's not like one or other. I came across, not saying, not gay. I'm just saying I've came across where both parties or both people have definitely lied about their age. I don't want to be that guy. Nor do I want to be the guy where I don't know you had a boyfriend. So another backstory on top of this story. <laughs> uh, in high school, this girl liked me. Uh, the way I'm about to put it is a little more extreme than it sounds because it's not really the case. But she asked a friend to ask me about if she, if I like her. Thing was, I wasn't even looking in her direction. So I'm sitting there like, who? So she pointed out, I'm like, oh, she likes me? She ain't bad looking. All right, cool, we can talk. <laughs> Came to find out two days later, she already had somebody she was cool with seeing. So I'm just like, yo, you got to choose between me or him because... I didn't know you had somebody, and yet you're trying to hold hands with me throughout the school, and then at the same time trying to tell me that you got somebody else. Like, I don't play that. So she was like, oh, I'm going to choose them. So I'm like, okay, that's cool. Like, I don't play that. I don't play the you trying to have two. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> nah. So I'm avoiding all that. So that, that's my back end. So I'm avoiding the age, and I'm avoiding finding out if she, She's single or not. So I do Facebook. And the funny thing is, I only use two bits of information to find this person. And then I had to just re-fact check it with the person that, or the teacher that I'm talking to. Which was her last name and the location that we're in. Or I should say, her second occupation or whatever case may be. Which is not really second occupation, but she's a student. So then... I check on Facebook. All right, a couple names pop up. Okay. There's only about like a few within the area. So when I go ask the teacher, I'm like, and she was like, you know, before I even get to ask her, she was like, you know, her first name was like very pretty and I really like her first name. And I was like, was it such and such? She was like, uh, yeah, it was. I'm just like, well, that's all the case for me. I guess I almost talked to her. <laughs> Got a whole boyfriend. Uh, <laughs> and I was just like, yo, there. Yeah. That was a whole dub for me. Uh, she did look pretty. Uh, at least I got to see the whole, um, the face, you know, full without having to see the, with the mask. I went to that problem uh, a few years back where I tried to talk to some girl. Oh, boy. This is another story. And this is not, another reason why I did what I did. Um, you know, you can, one could say it's not excusable, but I'm just saying. When you add all these factors up, the things that I've been through, it doesn't hurt to do a little background research. Just a little. Not deep dive as in like, oh my God, what did she drink at Starbucks yesterday? Like, no, chill. <laughs> the girl just need to know if she's old enough and she if she has a boy, uh, yeah, a boyfriend or not. 
or girlfriend. But the back story is I was at Walmart and I was by myself and I see this some girl that looked interesting and cool. And this was before COVID. I'm like, oh, I kind of want to talk to her, but I want to see her face. So I try to go around the aisle to see her face. By the time I get around the aisle, and I try to be discreet. I know it sounds fishy. I am sound like a creep. Whatever. I try to go see her face. <laughs> and she then had turned the other way. I'm like, fuck. So I'm like, you know what, Jerry? Just got to approach. So I approach. I try to say hi. What's up? How you doing? Before I even get to all that factor, because by the time I was saying hi, what's up? How you doing? I was playing nice. When I see her face, woo! When she told me she had a boyfriend, I was like, woo! Because <laughs> I was trying to exit that conversation as smooth as I can. <laughs> I was like, yo, I'm out. I'm out. So, nonetheless, I, when I found a boyfriend, I was like, you know what? I told she's like, I'm good. She has a boyfriend. Yeah, I'm just good. She's pretty, but just, yeah, I'm good. I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to do that. I'm not a type of person. I'm not going to try to go out my way. No, no, I'm good. But it's pretty much my story. It's just the fact of it's dangerous for, for somebody or just anybody to use little as two bits of information. Literally your last name in the town. And lit that person up and then get like a full blown, not understanding, but information that's imperial, I think the word is, to said person, to a person. Who knows? But that is it for my video today. That's what I want to come across about. Uh, the thing I guess I can tell you guys is. Mm, be careful, yes, what you put on the internet. However, for us men that get treated as a creep from time to time, but are legit not trying to be creep. And I, I can't follow. And if you're wondering why my hoodie is up, I'm just not in the mood to let my hair out, to be honest. You know what? To prove a point, see how nappy my hair is. It's not bad, but it's just how. And I'm like, I'm gonna hood it right now. So I, I don't, I don't know what to tell you guys. I wouldn't recommend my method. Um, chances are, I probably could have done the same thing somewhat on Instagram and semi found the same results. But this saved me. One thing I could say on the pro side of things, it did save me time. From trying to approach her and talk to her and do whatever, whatever course of direction that could have went to, nah. On top of that, uh, the uh, mutual friends. So like, it, it, from that point, I could have definitely had just hit up one of my friends. Like, do you know so and so person? Uh, and if they told me yay or nay, okay. Woo. I could find out, you know, the situation, but hey, I'm good. Gucci. Like I said, I hope taking if you guys do take this route, please don't deep dive. Get little get the only information that you need. My two information that I need was just the age factor and the boyfriend. Cause I would feel weird put myself in that situation where it's like, okay, you have a boyfriend. I don't want to like ask the circumstances because then all I can hear is the well, not all I can hear, but then chances are, and I'm going to negative route because it could have been positive because she just straight up told me I, I she had a boyfriend and she's not interested, which is perfectly fine, perfectly cool. But I've like I said, I've came across people that definitely had said stories, and it's like I didn't like I would roll with it, and then to come to find out later that said story just wasn't true <laughs> you do have a boyfriend you do have baby daddy you do have this you do have that and it's like why you really lied because you want i don't i don't know whatever case may be that's it that's my video hope you guys found something interesting learned something new and have fun with this conversation of the story 
Without further ado, I'll see you guys later. Peace.